What's up guys, welcome back to another interactive session of knowledge sharing. In this session, I'm going to talk about what is website vulnerability scanning, why it's important to test a website for vulnerability, Website vulnerability scanning is the process of finding the vulnerability in a website so that it can be patched on time. In today's world, websites are the main source of business as it showcases the portfolio of the organization which attracts the new customer. Now, if the website is compromised by exploiting the vulnerability and is going to remain shut down for a days, week and month, this is going to cause both financial and reputational loss to the organization. In this session, I am going to use the Kali machine and going to use Uniscan, which is a web vulnerability scanner. We can use Uniscan in two ways. Number one, by using command line or by using graphical interface. While performing a scan on a website for vulnerability, a series of requests is going to hit a web server. At this point, the question arises whether performing a scan on a website for vulnerability is legal or not. If you have the permission of the website owner, then performing the scan is legal, but performing the scan for vulnerability over a website without having the permission of the website owner is illegal. So let's go. So by using the command uniscan minus h, this is going to display the different option which we are going to use during the scan. So let's begin with the actual scanning. So I am going to use the command uniscan minus u and this is the website, my target website and these are the different option which I am going to use. So the scanning has started and is going to take little bit time for finishing because a series of the tasks is going to perform like banner grabbing, ping, trace route, NS lookup, and map, and some tests like SQL injection test, cross site scripting test, etc. So this is the first scan which we have started by using command line. See here banner grabbing is finished. It's union location and this is the address with dot onion extension. That means it's somewhere connecting or communicating with the Tor network. See here, the ping is completed. Trace route is going on. It's completed. NS lookup is also completed. Now Nmap is going on. Anyhow, I am interrupting my process. Now I'm going to show how by graphical user interface we can scan for a website so using the command uniscan minus gui a graphical user interface is going to present in front of us so here we are putting the url that is hack this site.org and we are using the different option which we need 
to perform during the scan. See here, the scan is started. So that was the demonstration how we can scan a website for vulnerability. Thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned and stay connected for more updates on cybersecurity. Till then, bye bye.